Hello and welcome to my un uh, this Unity tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about how to create a simple, complete game um, within 10 minutes or so. Now um, I'll be talking about how you um, how you can uh, create. Um, a shooting game, basically, uh, not a first-person shooter game, but something like that, with um, the camera static and camera not moving. Okay, so basically, my game would look something like this. So there are monsters appearing. I click, I shoot, the monsters disappear. Uh, some leave goodies. When I take goodies, uh, my either my life goes up or uh, either and this is my experience the blue bar yeah so that's how my game looks so how do I create that one okay first of all you create a terrain like this this is my terrain um, next thing uh, you may use a skybox but if you want to restrict your polygon count and speed up your game you could do probably like what I've done here so this is one of the clever ways of doing things um, I just have a plane here there's a simple plane right and I've got a material which is mapped onto the plane that's it and then you have a nice looking background like this and with a camera you just tweak it um, like this so that you only see this portion of the game so yeah that's how you do it that's how you reduce the polygon count and to enhance the look and feel you could maybe add grass maybe add some textures trees and all um, so yeah first um, what you need to do is create monsters second you need a crosshair and third you need bullets to shoot down monsters Okay, and I'll be explaining them each of them um, one by one so this is my game engine it's a really simple script a short script and yeah you should you should I think you should get it so um, this is my monster rigid body. Okay, um, I have a monster here like this. This is my monster here. Let me show you my monster. I down. It's actually it's not my monster. I downloaded it from the web. So yeah, here is a monster model that I downloaded. I think I downloaded it from 3drt.com, but I'm not so sure of it, so you may want to double check that. Okay, anyway, I have this monster model here. So first thing, I want to instantiate it. And um, second thing, um, I want to create bullets to shoot at it and um, make it disappear, increase my health, increase my experience, or and stuff like that okay so how do you instantiate monsters so in first thing I do is I create an array of monsters okay so um, I do this because I want a certain number of monsters in my screen at a time like um, like four monsters in a screen at a time or five monsters or six monsters I want to do this because um, somewhere in the game I want to set the complexity like like you see in many games like easy, difficult or normal or something like that. So one way you could do that is by tweaking the monster count here. Okay, um, This is just an integer variable. I set it from the screen here. So I've set the monster count to 4 here. Right, so here it's 10, here it's 4, Th um, the 10 gets overwritten by 4, whatever is here overwrites whatever is here. 
Okay, so here is four. Next, um, my logic is pretty simple. Uh, there's just a for loop, and if my monster clone is null, I create a monster. Okay. Um, that that that's just it. And how I create monster? I instantiate the monster. This monster is the rigid body variable here. I link that rigid body to my actual monster model. So my monster model gets um, instantiated at this location and I don't rotate it any anyway and I set the velocity of monster to um, towards the z axis okay negative z axis and um, I, I wrote a separate function to get the location because I didn't want the monsters to collide each other and fly off like you saw in the video um, just before it um, since my this piece of code is has some errors I didn't do math properly so they're bumping into each other and they're flying off in the sky so if you want to prevent that you could probably do your math and then put some distance between the monsters so that they don't collide and one more thing I, I haven't put gravity here because of my animations like the monsters don't follow any gravity that's why they're flying off um, um, like I said, I did this because the animations and the gravity were not getting synchronized with each other and I didn't know how to tweak the animations of this particular monster model so I didn't put that. Now if you have uh, some model that you designed yourself then you may use gravity as well. That is, it's the same thing. Well anyway, so let's mm, let's go to the crosshair script. Crosshair is a GUI texture like this one. Here this is my crosshair texture like this one. I want to it to appear in the screen and follow my mouse wherever my mouse goes my crosshair goes. I, I want it to do that. For that I put a script here oh sorry this is a texture not this one. I put a texture here um, called the crosshair script. Now it's a simple texture. This, I just draw the texture at the mouse point. Okay. I subtract half of the width from the current position of X and half of the height from the current position of Y. Um, just to get the center of the crosshair and to synchronize it with my mouse. This is just basic math and with this you have your crosshair where you want it to be it, it, it follows the mouse okay and this crosshair texture is the texture 2d right here and the texture 2d I linked it with my crosshair texture okay this is the same crosshair texture 2d here here it is the same thing so wherever my mouse goes my crosshair follows that's fine till now so next um, I want to shoot a bullet when I click on the crosshair. I do that by um, doing this. If input dot get button down the fire one, I shoot a ray onto the screen, and wherever the ray hits, I instantiate a bullet and take the hit coordinate and set the velocity of my bullet towards that hit point this is the, this is where my bullet is and this is where I, where it needs to go okay so this is how I um, instantiate it and this is for the audio file um, this is not covered in this tutorial maybe in the next tutorial I'll talk m more about how to play audio clips but yeah, and then uh, next thing you require is the um, monster, right? The monster script. Uh, in this script, you, you, you don't really require this and all these things. All you require is 
this function update um, here I did this um, so that if the monster run past the camera I destroy the monster and spawn a new monster I destroy the monster here once it gets destroyed here it gets created in here in the far loop okay and this on collision enter destroy game object um, I put this if statement here because um, I didn't want two monsters to collide with each other and um, destroy themselves that would be really suicidal so I didn't want that hence I put an if statement there and if the statement matches you destroy the game object okay so um, doing this you should probably get something like this one something like the game that I have right now it's the same game so yeah you should get something like this and it's really simple to build and um, I chose this one and not a first person shooter because uh, first thing is that there are a lot of first person shooters in the market and you really need to come up with some great ideas to sell, sell it and um, I came up with this kind of thing because um, these days uh, Unity can be ported to various platforms other than PC like iPhone, Android, Playstations, tablets so um, like you could create such a game and port it to iPhone that'd be really cool if you could do that and um, the main advantage of these kind of games is you don't you don't need to design the controls, the joysticks or whatever in the iPhone that would be really complex so to prevent that you, you just could do that. An extension of this would be like um, in the crosshair you do some you do if you have played some sniper games then as the sniper breathes the crosshair change the, cr the position of the crosshair changes you could probably do that yeah mm, so that's basically it I yeah you're free to use this code I wrote this code most of the code myself but some code I borrowed from unity forums and all so yeah I think you, you shouldn't have any problems doing that so yeah thanks for watching this um, video keep tuning in and bye bye